hello uh, my name is Vishal in this video let's see uh, the move tool in Photoshop uh, before going into that I've got a, a simple uh, Photoshop file which has got some crown uh, images and these images are uh, created in different layers uh, so here you can see the layers window or layers palette and you have different layers here in which uh, each and every crown image is uh, kept as a separate piece uh, layers palette here can be opened this way or you can go for windows and choose layers alternately you can press F7 on the keyboard so I'm opening the uh, layer and if you see right now the layer 1 is uh, selected uh, so what I do is uh, if you see here uh, I'm in the move tool uh, I can use V as the keyboard shortcut and now I can just uh, click and then you see I've selected layer 1 copy which is this layer and if I come here and click that will change to something else so basically I can directly click any of the layer and then select them and you could see that layer is selected so I can just click and move and I can place anywhere I wanted them to be like that so move tool uh, primary use is that if I generally disable this option I will not able to select that layer by clicking in the viewport because that option is off so if I make that option on I can do the selection just by clicking here when there are uh, one on the top I've got different layers and if I'm feeling very much confused I can right click and specifically pick any one of the layer and I can start moving them so just you need to right click and identify which layer is that if you have overlapped graphics here on one top of each other so that's the primary use here and there is option here uh, which is basically group or layer uh, right now I have kept all this into different layers so when I picked here to the layer when I click I directly select the layer there but in some cases uh, your layers palette will be like this let's uh, say I have selected these three layers and I am grouping it, them and then grouping them so you will have layer, uh, groups alternate to the layers here so selecting a layer or selecting a group is a different thing here in this case so if I pick this to a group click it I'll be selecting the group directly instead of the layers there so I need to change uh, to the layer where I'm able to select directly the layer here so if you uh, could see there is an option here which is show transform controls uh, whenever I select a particular layer uh, show transform controls uh, basically will show the transform controls here I'm not able to see um, I don't know what uh, happening here let me create a new layer fill something into it select that layer if you see there is a transform here if I select this one I get the transform uh, there was some uh, refresh error I guess uh, so it was not showing that transform control so if I switch this on you don't see the transform controls and if we switch on you see the transform controls they are readily uh, seen on the model just by clicking them transform control is basically used to transform the layer uh, generally to access it we use uh, control T shortcut and then we get the transform controls where you can able to move that uh, layer uh, you can scale that layer or you can rotate that layer 
so you can able to do all sort of transformations with the transform uh, control so when i keep that on this transform controls are uh, directly uh, shown so that you can directly move and then you can rotate any way you want uh, so i'm switching off the transform controls and going back so that's the transform controls then you have align tools and distribute tools here so i'll be um, uh, selecting all the layers one after the other like that so i've selected all the layers and then here we got the align tools uh, these icons are uh, like self explanatory initially i select these two uh, layers okay now if i click this button here you see uh, these two layers are aligned to a straight line and the alignment is very much uh, on the top side let me um, go back and then scale it that way now i'll put this align tool and you see the top line of these two images are uh, equal if i click this button here the bottom line are aligned with each other if i click this one the center line of these two images are aligned uh, very similarly uh, i can do with uh, these two i can do the left alignment or maybe i'll do this with the left alignment right alignment the middle alignment so these are uh, different alignment tools here so i'll just select this uh, and delete and i've got uh, different uh, i mean i mean the same uh, image uh, duplicated several times but scattered throughout my canvas so what i do is i select all the layers here and then what i do is i will uh, first align them so they all come into a straight line now i should notice here uh, we got the distribute tools so i click this button here and then you see all the crowns are equally spaced not distribution and alignment are different and distribution is actually adjusting the space between these things so uh, i have to understand the distribute option here so i have created something different comparing to what we have seen in the alignment tool so here i've got some uh, different uh, boxes and they are in different layers here i'm selecting all of them i'm not selecting the green one so i'm selecting all of the red and i'll be using this align tool first so that all will come into the mid arrangement or the bottom arrangement so once they have got here so i'll just ex try to explore this uh, three options the first one is uh, distribute the horizontal centers now what uh, that will do is it will try to uh, you know keep a center line and that center line will be equally spaced that's why you could see there's a big uh, space here and if i just uh, distribute the r left edges and distribute the right edges so we have uh, all of them so i'll just show you uh, how this is working so i just uh, kept dif distribute the right edges now i'm taking this green uh, box and i'm just putting it here and i'm just scaling that uh, so that from this point it's meeting there now i'll just take this one and then put it here and you should precisely see it starts from there ends there i'll move it there again it starts here and ends there starts here ends there starts here ends there so the spacing is basically measured from here let's say from this point to this point it's 10 centimeters again from here it goes there to 10 centimeters so that's the uh, measuring uh, point 
so when i am selecting uh, the middle one so from this center to that center it makes one unit and from that center to that center it makes another unit so i'll go for the left alignment you can check the same thing okay that's the distribution tool for us so it will generally allow me to keep uh, spacing equally generally when the boxes are of different size you will see this kind of uneven spacing because it's trying to keep that spacing from middle line to middle equal so it it goes that way so that is distribution tool so um, i've got this uh, photograph here uh, which was shot with a mobile phone and actually uh, it is the same location but i have uh, managed to take uh, from different angles i just I just panned my mobile uh, so i got different uh, you know perspectives of the same uh, so they are slightly um, displaced by the position so uh, what I will do is uh, I will just try to make my canvas slightly bigger so I'll just go to image and then choose the canvas size and I'll uh, put a 200 inches uh, width and somewhere 50 inches height so the canvas is uh, bigger than what it was so I'll select these three uh, images and then choose this tool called align uh, or auto align layers and then here there are different ways how the alignment happens so if you see there is a auto alignment uh, I, I can enable vignette uh, removal if there is anything like that and I can also uh, do geometry distortion geometric distortion uh, sometimes generally um, due to the focal length uh, the amount of distortion we get in any shape that will be fixed by changing the uh, scale of the image or sharing the image uh, let's try to understand this so I've got uh, enabled both of them and also there's a warning saying that uh, um, there is no camera metadata uh, with this images what I brought here in general uh, when you shoot with a digital camera you may get certain information like focal length and all so uh, the software will try to understand it and then try to f uh, give much better results but uh, we don't have anything like that with uh, this images so I'm just uh, picking the auto and uh, enable vignette removal and geometric distortion and then I'm just saying okay then you see uh, after some adjustment some time uh, the images will be you know placed so that the food path the plants the road uh, are aligned now you should see it looks like a big panoramic image so i'll just try to scale it and then show you uh, now it's it's basically uh, earlier uh, three images under uh, each other but now they are slightly shifted on the sides and if you notice this is the first image uh, you can see there is certain change in the uh, you know overall uh, shape of the image earlier it was uh, rectangular and it's now slightly round on the both sides if you see this image uh, has got some uh, railing some plants and all now when I enable this now there is a uh, uh, you know neat uh, blend between these two images as if it, there is no uh, disconnect I'll just go to the third image and you should see uh, here also uh, the uh, alignment is trying to match up so this auto alignment tool is basically when you are going for a panoramic photo shoot uh, this will help and we have uh, different types of alignments now in the auto alignment um, what generally happens is it will try to do all possible uh, transformations and shears for the image uh, when I choose the perspective it will see uh, only allow perspective image transform so it will either reduce the width of the top or increase the width of the top 
or vice versa on the bot bottom side and it will try to match this uh, or align these images so when I do that uh, you may not see uh, certain things what uh, happened with the auto mode I should see uh, earlier and this is uh, normal there is no scale the second image is completely uh, changed its perspectives and it is trying to match here is another image which is trying to match in between here so it's it's only uh, generally perspective transform is uh, this one so it will only transform uh, the top or the bottom or the sides basically it only changes the length so now there is collage uh, it will scale it will rotate or it will move the image without doing perspective transformation okay again you get the alignment so the images are basically moved and then they are trying to match with each other there is a separation because there is a white balance issue or the the tint of these two images are different but if you fix that uh, they perfectly blend then we have a cylindrical it will do the a cylindrical image transformation again it will distort uh, the images slightly to match the alignment you should see that it's it's changing that transformation we have spherical again spherical transformation reposition only translates the image it just moves here and there it will not rotate it will not scale the image it just moves and then keeps that so what are what all transformations you want to apply uh, you have uh, different options here okay so this is very great when you when you are going for a panoramic uh, image